Hi, my name is Lauren Zapala. I'm the author of The INFJ Writer, and I'm a writing coach who specializes in coaching INFJ and INFP writers or sensitive intuitive writers. Um, now, I've coached hundreds of writers in my time, and I've worked with hundreds of students, and I just did a class last May, just a month ago, called The Joyful Writer, and the writers in that class had incredible breakthroughs, um, actually bigger breakthroughs than I've seen in any of my classes thus far. And we did some unconventional exercises in that class that I think really worked for people. So I wanted to put everything together in a video course for those who couldn't make the class live and those who have busy schedules and need to fit in you know, lessons wherever they can. I'm one of those people, so I totally get that. So I'm launching a new video course in just a couple of weeks based on that live class, and it's called The Joyful Writer. It's all about bringing the joy back into your writing practice. Now I'm making a uh, three-part video mini-series to answer some questions about the course and give you a taste of what that course is going to be like if you do choose to do it. Last video I talked about the idea that we have this damaging belief that creativity has to be hard, writing has to be work, you have to treat it like a real job, and how that um, constricts us and shuts us down creatively. So in this video I want to talk about how um, you can move from a toxic, dysfunctional relationship with your creativity and writing into a place of joy and freedom. I think so many of us, so many writers, actually do have a toxic, dysfunctional relationship with our writing and we don't even realize it because we're sort of um, inundated with this information from outside sources that says this is normal and that you should dread writing and that it should be really hard and you should drag yourself really through it. So. I want to talk about why this happens to us so easily um, and how we can sort of protect ourselves from it going forward. So the thing is, we as a society, um, we're very dependent on our brains. If you live in the US or some other sort of Western culture society, this feels normal to you to be up in your brain all the time, right? So we're always thinking, we're always trying to problem solve, we're always scanning our environment for threats and problems. Um, anytime that we have an issue with anything, we immediately like send it up to our brain, you know, brain fix this issue. Um, this is fine, the brain is a very valuable tool, but what happens when the brain gets out of balance, and when the brain is not balanced with say your heart energy, which is very important, the brain will tend to worry and obsess over everything because the brain is trained to identify threats and problems in the environment. So if it's not balanced with the wisdom of the heart, it's gonna see problems and threats all the time, a lot of the time when there are no problems and threats, or it's going to invent problems and threats so that it has something to be occupied with because our brain loves to solve problems. So when you're not fully connected to your heart energy, you do tend to be very out of balance. And we see this running rampant in our society in all areas today. Um, everybody is very much up in their brains and they're thinking, thinking, thinking. And you will hear people who say, I can't get to sleep at night because my brain is just running and running and running. Um, or I can't focus, I can't concentrate because my brain is just running and running and running, right? Or um, I can't achieve my goals because this negative voice in my brain is always telling me I'm going to fail and it's just running and running and running, right? That's really normal for out of balance brain energy. And when you're out of balance in that way, your brain is gonna drive you nuts. It's gonna drive you nuts with stress and anxiety and resistance, especially toward creative projects. Because creative projects they push us to move out of our comfort zone. They demand that we feel vulnerable and that we explore new territory that we've never been in before. So you're gonna get triggered in that way and then the brain is just gonna go absolutely bananas trying to protect you. And it's going to show up with a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress and a lot of resistance that's going to subconsciously sabotage you every time you sit down to create. So in this new course, I'm gonna be teaching you um, some of the most effective strategies to shift your energy out of the brain and back down into the heart. And I'm gonna be doing it in a way um, that it's not just a mental exercise. It's not just like you are learning information, you're intellectually absorbing it, and it's more fodder for your brain to keep doing its thing. We're actually going to be working with the energy of your entire system and moving your energy from the brain back down into your heart 
by using meditations, by using visualizations and other sort of energy work exercises to move that energy in real time. So this is stuff that anyone can do. And I know when I say meditation and when I say visualization, a lot of people can be triggered by those words and say, I can't do meditation. I'm too anxious. I can't sit still. Um, I have a real problem visualizing. The exercises and the strategies and techniques I'm going to be teaching in this video course, they are designed for anyone. No matter how anxious you are, no matter how much you hate meditation or you think you failed at meditation in the past, um, these are really simple yet profound techniques and exercises you can use anywhere, no matter who you are, no matter how bad you are at meditation, and they can work for you. So just know that like, you don't have to be some sort of advanced uh, meditating yogi who's perfectly you know, this zen peaceful being. That's not who you have to be to take this course. You can be a ball of anxiety and a ball of resistance and just a hot mess, and this course will still work for you. So rest your mind easy on that account. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about what happens when the fear energy in our brains just is let run unchecked and it's never balanced with the heart. Um, it ends up keeping us small and it ends up suppressing our creativity. And I think so many writers are familiar with that feeling of keeping themselves small and playing small. And I think a lot of us are tired of it. Um, I know, especially after the pandemic, I've been hearing from so many people who say, I realize how I've been playing small my whole life and I'm over it. I know I have potential. I know I have gifts. I know I have something to share with the world. I'm tired of this plain small crap. I don't wanna do it anymore. Um, so if that's you, this is the course for you. This is gonna help you take that next step and start to actually work with your energy so you're not just like, in this small little you know bundle always pulling yourself in always like trying to fly under the radar anymore this is um this is a course that will help you expand and help you start to take risks in your life and creative risks in your work so if this is resonating with you if you have questions about the course you can email me you can use the contact page on my website my emails on my website as well um, you can leave a comment in the comments box below um, if you're getting this through my newsletter, you can just hit reply. If you want to make sure you get all the updates and announcements about the course, please join my newsletter. The link is in the comments box below if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and it's also on my website if you're accessing this through my blog. But please join my newsletter. You'll get all the updates and announcements as they come through and as they happen. If you have any questions, please send them my way. I will see you next time for video three. Thanks so much, guys.